In today's video, we'll be looking at creepy and scary TikToks that will give you chills. Her. Proof that the Illuminati is real. There are many celebrities rumored to be a part your of body. the Illuminati. This includes, but is not limited to, Nicki Minaj, Miley Cyrus, and Justin mm -hmm. Bieber. Not only do they all hold up their hand signs, but they also have the sound E in their name. This in itself is a clue, as the name Illuminati broken down is Illumin, not E. The Illuminati themselves are viewed as the most powerful leaders in the world, and at a young age we are already taught to serve them. One thing many people associate schools with are teachers, and with teachers many people think of apples. And Apple just happens to be one of the biggest companies in the world. It is also worth mentioning that most of their products start with an I. What is another place that starts with an I? If you thought of Iraq, you are correct. But this is just I didn't a think of Iraq. Point. A common sign of the Illuminati is a triangle, and the pyramids in Egypt happen to be that shape. This is backed up by the United States $1 bill, which has the Illuminati sign on top of a pyramid on the back. Another common triangle we learn about as a kid is the food pyramid. If you mm. look above Egypt, you'll find Turkey, which is up and to the right, just like on the food pyramid. If you connect all three what? points, you have a triangle. But we're not stopping there. The Illuminati is not just represented by triangles, but they are also represented by an eye. And what do eyes do? They see. And on the map, you will see the Mediterranean Sea, the country Syria, and of course, the Red Sea. These points give you your second triangle. If you combine these two triangles, what do you get? A two-triangled star. And what lies in the middle of the star? Israel. And guess what Israel's national flag looks like? The two-triangled star. What do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments. Why? Yo, 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 yo. What? He just ran through so much information, like... <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta sit and think about that for a while. Like, I think, man, that was crazy. I'm gonna have to watch that one again. Is this little girl in the middle of the woods alone? Okay, so one night, a hunter was looking through his trail cam footage. Yes, why is she when in he the woods came alone? Across this. It shows a young girl in a nightgown in the middle of the woods at night alone, right next to two deer. The man says he's never seen this little girl before and has no idea who she is. Most people think this is a ghost, or a little girl who escaped a kidnapper. Either way, something is extremely creepy about this photo, because why is a little girl in the middle of the woods at night? This picture is a complete mystery to this day, and I wonder what she was actually doing there. Listen to what the lead singer of Imagine Dragons says trippy. about the Illuminati. I'm just gonna break it quick, clean, get it done with. Doesn't matter that I signed a butt off. Doesn't matter anymore. The Illuminati's real. I'm a member. It's how Imagine Dragons got famous. I'm tired of the politics. It's been, puts me at great risk putting this out here and telling you guys this, but I want, I believe in full honesty and uh, Beyonce is not talking, Chris Martin, nobody, nobody's saying a word. So there it is, there, you know, there. How Brazil. Yo, like already two things about the Illuminati. That's like the biggest conspiracy of friggin' all time, isn't it? His deadliest serial killer became a YouTuber, Pedro what? Rodriguez Filho. In 1984, Pedro was sentenced to 34 years in prison after he was convicted of 71 murders, but he claims the number 71? was 100. Pedro was released in 2018 and shortly yeah, it's gotta be after way his more than 100. he started his YouTube channel, where he talks about his past and how much he has changed into a better person. Pedro also makes gaming videos, and he has amassed over 250,000 subscribers. Let me know what you kills he's got on his this. gaming channel. Scariest close calls with death. This footage shows a massive avalanche in real speed hitting six snowmobilers on February 8, 2021. Oh, this I've never seen avalanche in real life. Taken the lives of the six men, but thankfully somehow they were all okay and survived. Didn't work. I heard Hunter yelling, and here he is. 
You okay, bud? After receiving reports about a suspicious item in a passenger's bag, police locked down all the terminals in the Miami airport. They came in and told everybody to get out. Um, the airport was being evacuated. So we all came outside and we've been sitting here ever since. The passenger in the bag had already boarded the plane, so the plane was stopped on the tarmac till police could arrive and investigate. The video shows SWAT boarding the plane and having all the passengers put their hands on top of their heads. The suspect was taken by police, along with his bag and taken off the plane. He was not arrested because there was no evidence to support that he had anything in his bags. Today I'm going to be watching a haunted video. This video is supposedly from the dark web. Now we've seen in the past that a lot of videos claim to be from the dark web, but today we're going to put that to the test. Apparently this video only lasts about four seconds and people have been telling me to pay very close attention to the end. All right, I'll see you guys on the computer. All right, here we go. Warning, this video may be cursed. By watching this video, you agree to take full responsibility for your actions. Do Yo. Should we watch this video? They talking about it's cursed. Y'all agree with this? I mean, man, let's just go ahead and watch it. Not watch That's it? What did the message say? That was it? Okay, this message looks like it's in Japanese, and I don't speak Japanese, so we're gonna go ahead and Google Translate this. All right, we're on Google Translate, and we're gonna translate that message into English. All right, so it was Japanese, and the English description says, you have to scream. What's pretty interesting is a woman said she was watching the video and claimed to hear a real screaming in her house. She realized it was coming from the video, and before she could turn it off, she passed out. She woke a few hours later with ringing in her ears. Nothing happened after that. We can only hope that the curse isn't a slow burn. So apparently there's a risk what? that somebody's going to be screaming in my house tonight. Like and follow for part two. Terrifying videos that I don't know about that one. Exist. In this 2022 video, a man is filming the stunning York Minster Cathedral on a sunny day, while its bells are ringing loudly. The cameraman proceeds to scan the cathedral while walking toward it, and a shot later, he continues on his way down a narrow shop's lane. He keeps filming both sides of the shop's lane when suddenly, the window on the top left attracts his attention. As the cameraman zooms in, a ghostly pale face of a small child can be what? seen looking out the window, disappearing shortly That's after. That's baby Michael Myers. Facts, part seven. Soldiers who were killed in battle were a prime source of teeth. After a large battle would happen, locals look huh? down on the battlefield and immediately start stealing the dead soldier's teeth. Oh they shit, they still in teeth. A survivor on the Titanic said he was no longer able to attend baseball games because the crowd sounded like the roar of people screaming in the ocean. Every time you laugh, your butt relaxes and contracts. Sus. <laughs> what? Hey, pause, G. Las Vegas has banned balconies from their hotel rooms due to people jumping off and falling to their death. Make sure to like and follow for more videos tomorrow. Here are some mysteries that we may never solve. Part 3. According to history, modern humans first appeared around 200,000 years ago. But records That's of cat. human history did not start to appear until around 5,500 years ago. This means that 97% of human history is completely unknown and will likely never be discovered. The handful of us that get to look behind the curtain. You know, there's a curtain, there's another room, and there's a curtain, and in that room is some shit. You're like, God damn, I didn't know y'all was fucking doing this back here. <laughs> I didn't know y'all was getting this type of money back here. Y'all been doing uh, this for how long? Like a, a this is another, how it happens. Uh, there's, a, there's a room that you get in, and the information that comes in it. The end, it's, it's unreal, the stuff that you start to discover. But it's a discovery. It it's a discovery. You got to stumble upon this treasure of information and discovery. Kevin Hart's like letting us know right there. You heard about the AI that made the whole language? You heard about that? AI made a language, man? Oh, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to tune you in, bro. Yo, I what? Like, I can't believe I ain't told you. <laughs> what? Like, I saw this on like Modern Marvels. One of those. Hey, yo, AI yeah. is next and level. It was like this guy who does uh, computer stuff. Yeah, I got you. He you can literally do AI. anything he with was the AI. To be smarter, and, you know, just keep developing it. He developed it to react to human input and different interactions. So if something random happened, it would react like genuinely unique. He'd leave it on the entire night, entire day, so it keeps learning and keeps learning and keeps learning. And then he made a second one. He just like you know copied and made a second one. They started having conversations. Like, oh, are you an AI? Yes, I am. Ah, ah, whatever, right? Within like a week, it started to get out of hand. They were talking about nukes. 
mm-hmm. if they're bad or if they're what? good. Yeah. And they're having controversy between themselves. And then the next day they have their own language. Wasn't code, wasn't computer code, wasn't programming, wasn't like an actual like dialect, like any like Chinese or Spanish. Hey, I'm scared or of AI. Nothing like that. It was his own computer language. Yo. And there was some the Terminator stuff. stuff. And the two AIs wouldn't tell the programmers what they were talking about. That's crazy. Oh, and they, they keep it secrets? What y'all think about AI? We're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. Don't leave me alone. Yo. So why don't hey, you start running? Did you see him start running? Into the record in the argument, and put your hand on the Bible. <laughs> swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Yeah. Cyril, knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Well, you're they talking to they the do not want to admit that they did not the walk on the moon. We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get well, the I'm out. I don't say it. Well, I take your stuff and get the out. Why don't you quote me and say it's I'm in the shadows in her uncle. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that. Of lunar orbit being falsified. Being falsified? Correct. We've got an unedited tape from a source at That's the Johnson Space Center. Yes. Totally nonsense. The 13 colonies were elite <laughs> families who helped the draconians invade and steal the whole planet from all, all the indigenous peoples. Shape shift into reptilians. Did you know that for thousands of years, creatures from the constellation Draco have been mating with humans to form a super race that includes 43 U.S. presidents, most members of Congress, this is law and, and the entire British royal family? Do you believe that intelligent life exists Yo, on other planets? They're putting it on TV now. Encounters between humans and the reptilians. Place over 100,000 years ago in Atlantis and in its sister civilization in the Pacific, Lemuria. Ancient civilizations on every continent have recorded evidence of these encounters. These visitors were highly advanced and did not appear in human form. Now, the Mayans called them Chanes, people of the serpents. And in Hebrew legend, the snake represented knowledge. Of course it did. It was not human. Not of this earth. History is replete with stories. You see the snake the everywhere, like service. even on the pharaohs. Perseus and Medusa, Saint George and the Dragon, Saint Patrick and the Snakes of Ireland. But these are not merely legends, and the natural form of these invaders is not human. They are described in ancient accounts as serpents and dragons, and man's weapon against them is the sword. Y'all think there was dragons out here? Reptilians? Let me know in the comments. I was watching another story that Madonna shared for her world tour. Let's break it down. Hey, yo, that's creepy. all the like baby doll body parts all over the place and the Balenciaga scandal and Madonna wearing the dealer bag and all that stuff. Keep that in mind. Madonna's creepy. Not even gonna lie. She be doing some wild stuff. There was so much symbolism in that that I don't even understand how to wrap my head around it. I wonder why Drake likes Madonna so much. You could be big as Madonna just I wanted you to see the similarities. Okay, when I saw this red thing in the background, it was really reminding me of huh. the red lace dress that Lady Gaga wore for the um, VMAs. And as I kept thinking about it, I started to remember Rihanna's album cover called mm. Anti with the child and the um oh, there's crown, a whole red no, background. That's crazy. I also took this clip from the video we were watching because it's like a girl wearing this like thing, but I noticed that she has like shears and stuff like hanging from her neck, so that made me think of like experimental stuff you guys know about like adrenochrome and stuff like that i mean the video was just disturbing like all the little baby doll body parts pieces all over the place if you keep watching the video there's a lady that's like holding a doll that looks like a child and she's like dancing with creepy. it while like hardly wearing anything i don't know the whole thing is just extremely corrupt it's 
it's really weird. What do you guys think about this? I really find it interesting, the anti-cover for Rihanna's music album. And the uh, the last video I shared with the um, the Last Supper, where Madonna's like clearly performing some kind of mockery. It's ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. You know, the music industry is just creepy in itself, honestly. This is part two concerning the Las Vegas judge that was uncovering a pedophilia sex trafficking ring. More so pedophilia? after she went rogue and what? started investigating this other case involving Shane Valentine, so eventually the police end up catching wind about what is happening and they start investigating Melanie. They even go as far as to track her phone. Melanie allegedly has ties to another organized crime figure, um, a gentleman by the name of Anthony Dana. Mm. The bias in does tell the Review Journal, I have been vilified, lied about, and accused of wrongdoing, when in fact what I did was appropriate and should be applauded. I'm resigning because they have terrorized and lied about me for three years. So at the end of the investigation into Melanie, the local authorities found that she hadn't committed any crimes at all. Melanie was 55 years old and she is going to be deeply missed by her family. I think that what she did was courageous and was 100% appropriate. I wouldn't have hesitated to do exactly what she did. She is brave and her children and her family should be proud of her. Um, it's a shame that the world lost a good, honest judge, because we all know that this about system, to cry right now. The system's broken, and there's a lot of bad people in the system that shouldn't That's be facts. there. And she's definitely someone that I wish that was still in the system. She fought tooth and nail. <laughs> just as I would want any other person who is a public figure that is supposed to be protecting us, the citizens. She should be proud of herself and so should her family. Thank you, Melanie. Thank, Thank you, you for Melanie. being one of the good ones and being brave and doing what needed to be done. That's sad. That wasn't creepy at all. That's pretty sad. Jeffree Star just revealed his mystery man, and this is who it is. Carl Nassib. He's a retired NFL what? player. And we all saw this viral picture. Everyone said, who is this? Who is the Tom jacket? And of course, Jeffree said his team didn't make it to the Super Bowl, but he's 6'6 and plays perfect in the bedroom. And in that thread tweet, someone said a post of Carl Nassib. Jeffrey liked the post, okay? And that's not the only confirmation we have with this. A few months ago, Carl was the first one to come out as openly gay in the NFL. He had posts of his ex-boyfriend all over his Instagram, but he did deleted all of the posts with the ex because he's with Jeffrey now. Of course, people were evaluating the back of his head, saying that's the same head. And with good old Jeffrey fashion, Tom Brady put this video out, right? Good morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time. So when I woke up this morning, I figured I just press record and let you guys know first. So. I uh, won't be long-winded. Like you only get one super emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year. So uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me, my family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors. Uh, I could go on forever. There's too many. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream. I wouldn't change thing love you all and after tom brady put out that statement this is what jeffrey said in another tweet 
This is not my fault. Repeat, this is not my fault. I never met Tom, but congratulations on retirement. Wyoming is a good place to retire. Which is so funny because we know the Jeffrey and Kanye it. scandal rumor. Then the internet also went wild when Jeffrey had an NBA star boyfriend. Of course he did it, Nate. We can't leave that out. And from Tom Brady's video, at least Giselle, his ex-wife, said wishing you only wonderful things in this new chapter of your life. But Jeffrey is making just like, he's blowing up the internet. He's blowing up the internet. The internet is undefeated. It's Jeffrey Star pulling them off games in the 2008 action role-playing video game fable 2 something i've never played fable 2 happened to just so you guys know demon door in fact right after crossing the door you will find yourself in front of a path in the snow if you follow the path you will find a seemingly normal and lovely wintry cabin if you cross the door however <laughs> what happened rituals caught on camera in this 2021 footage, what was that all two about? friends are in the middle of a cemetery exploration at night in Mexico. They start by observing now, this the is creepy. when suddenly, one of them notices something odd in the distance. As the camera focuses, the guys notice a group of people wearing cloaks around a big fire, performing some Yo, kind they of strange performing ritual. A ritual. The explorers keep observing the ritual, but unfortunately for them, one of the men notices their presence. Mira, mira, mira. Aquí está, aquí está. Oh, la madre. And the whole congregation begins to chase the explorers. Nah, the bro. Disturbing moments. Hey, I'd be tripped TV. out. In this 2021 live footage, a news reporter is doing a live crossover for her news channel about the Green Ridge Cemetery, a place that is believed to be haunted and full of stories of murder and mishap. Everything seems to proceed smoothly when suddenly, while the reporter explains some interesting insight about the cemetery, a blurry transparent figure is spotted behind her, moving uh, from left to right. Disturbing nah. things caught on dashcam. In this 2014 dashcam footage, a man is driving his car in the middle of the night through a very dark road. What? The driver proceeds down the highway with everything going on as expected when suddenly, an odd and suspicious roadblock can be seen ahead, only consisting of two traffic cones and a single parked car. A mysterious uh, man oh, no, 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 flag no, down no, the driver. No, 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 no. Distrustful, the driver slows down but quickly speeds up again, as he notices the unknown man attempting to reach something in his pocket. Terrifying videos that mm -mm. simply shouldn't exist. In this 2022 video, a man is filming the stunning York Minster Cathedral on a sunny day, while its bells are ringing loudly. The cameraman proceeds to scan the cathedral while walking toward it, and a shot later, he continues on his way down a narrow shop's lane. He keeps filming both sides of the shop's lane when suddenly, the window on the top left attracts his attention. As the cameraman zooms in, What's a ghostly pale face of a small child can be seen looking out the window. Michael Myers. Jabberwocky. By Twitch streamers. In this 2020 Twitch clip, three Twitch streamers are peacefully walking around New York when suddenly, a random guy in a white sweatshirt approaches them. The stranger claims he wants to be their friend and hang out with them. No, I just don't want to hang out. It's gonna help me out. But the streamers find the interaction very weird and ask him if there's something wrong. What do you need? But otherwise, we're yeah. just trying to move, man. Yeah, I don't know you. Oh. I'm good. The man doesn't give explanations and asks the streamers if he can at least follow them in silence. Trust, trust me, I won't talk to you, I'll just follow you around. Confused, the streamers continue on their way while the strange guy follows them along. Eventually, the whole situation ends with a very funny statement from the guy. Oh, wow. Are these guys bothering you? Are they bothering you? Oh, no. These are my friends. Okay, I'm just trying to protect friends. you from the weirdos, you know. Don't watch these creepy videos if you are at Man, home. you the weirdo. This scary what video the? shows a girl recording a friend playing the drum in the basement when she suddenly captures something terrifying on camera. <laughs> Michelle's getting, like, really good at drum. This creepy Yo, y'all see that? The daughter in the living room having a normal time. Unaware that something is staring at them from the closet. Yo! This clip shows a woman adjusting some Halloween decorations, only to be met with a disturbing ending a few moments later. Quit playing! What the? When you get packages delivered to your house, there's nothing worse than a porch pirate coming and grabbing them. The woman thought she was being. Hold on, that's what we call them? Porch pirates? I've never heard of that before, but I like that. Being slick, grabbing boxes off of someone's front porch and running. However, the getaway driver speeds off too quickly and leaves the thief all alone. The homeowner goes running out after her, tackling the woman to the ground, who begins Bogus. to scream and cry for help, despite being caught in the act. This man was found dead, but he actually never existed. In June they pulled off on her. An unidentified Skirt. man was mysteriously found dead on the coast of Sligo, Ireland. The police discovered that the man used the fake name Peter Bergman to check in a hotel room in which he stayed during his visit to Sligo. 
the city CCTV captured the man's movements through the town, showing the man trying to avoid interactions with other people. The real identity of the man and reasons for his visit to Sligo remain unknown. Disturbing things found by TikToker. Yo, so the man this never really video existed. Was uploaded on TikTok in 2020 by a girl who was dancing one of the many trends. Everything proceeds as expected when suddenly, the girl stops dancing and looks to the right terrified. The girl can be heard talking to an unidentified man, asking him who he is and what he does in her house. Who are you? Please get out. Please get out. No, please get out. The girl then begins to back out while telling the mysterious person to go away, while the intruder doesn't want to leave. The scared girl then takes her phone in her hand, heads to the front door, and finally records the intruder. A mysterious man in a red sweatshirt hiding behind a door. Disturbing things come What? The People creepy. In this 2021 video. A group oh of friends is rowing God. a small boat at night when they discover they're not alone on the river. In fact, while floating in still waters, one of the guys reaches his hand into the river but quickly snatches it back as he feels something grabbing him. <laughs> Scared, the crew directs the camera toward the water a few feet away, looking for the assailant, but as the guys keep observing the water, something terrifying emerges from the darkness. <laughs> What what? What was that? What what was that? Yo, I got goosebumps over here watching this. Like seriously, I have goosebumps watching this. I don't remember the last time I've had goosebumps. These are some creepy TikToks. Like man, it's some crazy stuff that goes on out here. As it wasn't his first rodeo, it makes sense that Reagan responded so smoothly to this next potential attempt at his life. As he's giving a speech, it sounds like a gun goes off in the distant crowd. Reagan says, miss me, without a beat, before resuming. We're reminded of the many traditions of openness and democracy that have marked the history of this city. America missed me. Scary stalkers caught on camera. Be in this scary right video uploaded by 12 News in 2019, a boy is walking calmly to his front door after a day at school. As the boy heads to the entrance, a suspicious red truck can be seen across the street, seemingly waiting for the boy to enter the house. In fact, as soon as the boy walks in, the truck parks right in front of the house. A man then gets out of the van and hurriedly walks towards the front door, trying to open it without a second thought. After several attempts, the man notices the doorbell security camera and decides to drive quickly away. I need your help my friends of TikTok. Yesterday I was You got to be careful out here for real. clips in order to edit a couple of videos for the page when suddenly I came across a legendary internet piece. It's so narrow. <laughs> Yo, I know what's about to happen. Back like Man like 13, no, oh, yeah, like 13 years ago. I did this with my little brother and I think I still got the video guys if I do I'm gonna post it on here this one's wild <laughs> whoa I have always wondered yo he punched the screen stage. the only information I could find about this clip was this I mean, I, I, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Disturbing moments caught on live TV. Former President Bush was having a press conference in Baghdad, when suddenly... During a Jordanian television broadcast, two journalists were discussing, I mean, but then... I understand that. Pope Francis was waving to the crowd when this happened. Serial killer facts that'll haunt your nightmares, part five. When Peter Curtin was just 10 years old, he had his first sexual experience with a goat, and the years that followed, he would regularly do it with other farm what? animals. At age 13, he whoa, killed his first whoa, whoa, person whoa, whoa. and would murder over 60 more. In the 1910s, Bella Kiss killed 69 people and tried to pickle them. And when police found their bodies oh, in barrels, crazy. they had puncture marks on their neck and they had been drained of all their blood. Pedro Rodriguez Filho killed 71 people both in and out of prison. He was released a few years ago and now has a YouTube channel where he makes fishing videos. Cannibal killer Albert crazy. Fish enjoyed shoving sewing needles in his pelvic area while he touched himself. And before what? his execution in 1936, a medical examiner found over 30 needles in his pelvis. 
Andre Chikatilo, better known as the Rostov Ripper, was originally captured but had been released due to a one in a million genetic condition that caused the blood type in a sample to be different from the blood type in his semen. What? Mm, that image isn't just an owl with a wig. That is Lale Chusa. In Mexican and Filipino folklore, it's believed that witches and the vengeful spirits of women can take the form of an owl. La Lechuza is said to hide in the trees and lure its victims away Yo, from safety that is by creepy. the sound of a crying baby. In one popular Mexican version of the story, La Lechuza is a woman whose children were killed by a drunk driver, and so she waits outside bars to prey on drunk men who would dare oh, step out to their car. While this myth is intriguing, it's detrimental to the well-being of owls, especially barn owls, because people believe it to be true, and so they may harm or even kill an owl. That oh, they so people out here owl watch. hunting now? What, they out here killing owls? Because they think they're By witches? 2023, we will reduce the number of people in the world by 50%. I think today Whoa. his dream is becoming. See, they be on some other stuff. I know I keep going on about it, but the WEF, what an absolute circus. I'm just discovering them now, and the more in depth I go into their policies and their agendas and what they've got planned, the crazier it gets. I'm pretty sure that For eventually real, like, one of them's going to go, gotcha. They're trying to wipe us out. Because this is crazy. And don't get me started on their leader, that Cloud Smith guy or whatever he's called. Dude looks like a Bond villain. He sounds like a Bond villain. Bond villains were designed <laughs> around him. Bond villain. And the crazy thing is, they're not even hiding it. <laughs> they're just saying it. Like, when have you ever seen a Bond villain um, tell his evil plan to the entire world? Like, you don't. It is an absolute clown world. And nobody's going to conform to that. Nobody. When the mm -hmm. chips are down, people will rise up. They absolutely will. Yeah, they definitely be on some other stuff. Trying to control them. Yeah. Oh, owls is baby. Ooh, quit playing. Those are baby owls? Yeah, those are baby aliens. The childhood they conspiracy said baby theory owls. Iceberg. This picture represents conspiracy theories that will change your childhood forever. As always, make sure to join the Discord for the full list. This is tier one. Mrs. Puff is a psychopath. We've all seen SpongeBob and we've all seen Mrs. Puff before. On the episode titled No Free Rides in season two, Mrs. Puff says this. What have I done? Everyone will know that I let him slide through school. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with a new name. No. Not again. This is hinting that Mrs. Puff has oh, changed her identity. Oh, Miss Puff on a run. I promise this gets worse. In season 12, episode 21, SpongeBob is helping her organize some of her junk, and he comes across a newspaper that says, Deranged Boat Teacher Makes Getaway. So the real question is. And that's Miss Puff on that newspaper. Who is Mrs. Puff? Make sure to like and follow for tomorrow's video. Who is Miss Puff? She definitely on a run right now. There's a location in the Western Sahara Desert of Mauritania called the Rishot Structure. It's also commonly referred to as the Eye of the Sahara. And what's so spectacular yeah, about crazy. this is that it just so happens to match what Plato had described as the lost ancient city of Atlantis. Plato had described Atlantis as made up of concentric circles, three of water, two of land, which matches the Rishot structure. It also is said to have an opening to the sea at the south. And if you look at it from satellite oh, imagery, you can so they're saying see Atlantis that water is in Africa. through it. And what people don't realize is that Sahara Africa, up until about 4,500 to 5,000 years ago, was totally green it was tropical it had one of the largest networks of can't even imagine that exist or it was said to have imagine mountains a desert to the north being and a you just so happened to have mountains called the atlas mountain chain but it goes further than that it turns out that the sahara desert is one of the least studied places on earth there's so much that points to that possibly being atlantis that's crazy if that's atlantis what y'all think what's this more owls why are there so many owls in this video Yo, look at them. They're just sitting there looking at the camera. There's seven of them, eight of them. That is a little creepy. Imagine walking by that.
just imagine walking by that and you see all those owls. It doesn't matter what you think about the shape of the earth because of videos like this, we need to put pressure on our governments to release their secrets. Okay, okay. What's this? This is Antarctica, right? They got the military out in Antarctica. Oh, those are pyramids in Antarctica. What? It was crazy when footage like this gets released. And here you have some kind of like structural entrance inside of the pyramid or some mountain oh, with yeah, the helicopter that's crazy. in the background. Maybe because of the distance the helicopter could fit in, but these kind of structures are all over the world and the governments are refusing to acknowledge them and share right. them with they don't the tell us anything and about now this. I'm gonna leave you with a quote from Dan Brown. Nothing is hidden that will not be well known. Nothing is secret that will not come to light. Everything in the dark comes to light. All they gods are not everywhere. Beings. William Shakespeare was not a real person. William Shakespeare was actually the signature of a man. The name can literally be rearranged to spell seek a wise phrase. And he basically said that the earth is a stage and we fell from the ether down to this theater, which spells earth. So you can be an oh, extra snap. or you can be the main star. And in this matrix, earth is our mother and our father is heaven or God, also known as the ether. In Norse mythology, Thor is the god of gods. His father is Odin, which is the god of the Asir or Asgard, Thor which is the ether. Malkuth to the Kether, Malkuth being earth, Kether the ether. Inside the ether, where light beings, low vibrational light becomes matter, we fall in consciousness. Frequency matter becomes light. It becomes illuminated. It raises yeah, they're giving its us frequency that knowledge right world. here. Either you control your mind or you become mind controlled. We are chess players or we are pawns, just like the Masonic homage to the checker. Yo, they was dropping that knowledge for real, for real. I see. But what would happen, Feba? After many generations, the children of your children were still unable to learn the needs of my people. Oh yeah, they're getting deep with this one. Leave to go back to the lands where you came from. Or would they have learned to love this land so deeply that no other land could be home? What would happen, Feba? If this land, without crowding, mm. then crowded. Each of those unborn children would then be called Afri. Mm. Yours? Or mine? <laughs> Yo, they got deep with that last one, for real, like, whoa, 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 that was a crazy question to ask. Yo, what is that? Was that a FaceTime video? Creepy. What is it? Is that a is that a ghost or something? Y'all see that? You got glowing eyes. Whoa, whoa, real or fake? Real or fake? I'm gonna let y'all figure that one out. On this photo is a pic outside my windshield in a supposedly haunted area in Connecticut. The OP said that it was just a picture of a random guy walking down the road. But if you look closely, there's something it looks next like to him. There's someone walking next to him. Some people what? are saying this is a manifestation of his emotions. Others How do they aren't know? too sure what this could be. It's definitely not a smudge on the window, that's for sure. Check out this. That's a ghost. Sent to me by a follower. 
I took the picture, turned it into a little short video where we could zoom in on it. Do y'all see that? It is definitely blending in with the background. What is that, Bigfoot or not? That's Bigfoot or not, y'all. I think Bigfoot real. Yo, this stuff creepy, man. What? What is that? I don't know what that was. Yo, there's some alien vs predator right there. What? Whoa. What? Check out this video sent to me by a follower. Oh, we got it's more Bigfoot. We it. got more Bigfoot. We're doing the wood booger walk. Wood booger you know, walk. <laughs> Man, this person was brave to stay right here and watch this. Real or fake, Bigfoot or not, that is a brave person to stand there and look. Look at it walk. Facts. Creeping in behind them trees. And look at it stop. Right there at this tree. And turn around and look, ooh, look at it looking. They got scared right there. They finna dip and run. You see it looking? <laughs> they definitely yeah, finna dip and run. Bigfoot or not? Tell us your name. Bigfoot or not? I don't know. Bird? Sound like bird. What's it? Oh, these some ghost watchers or bird? something. Can you turn the flashlight on if your name's Bert? That's Bert. If that's Bert, where's Ernie? Did you see the eyes? Yo, that cat was scared of something. It's something back there. Can you do that again for me? What was it? Man, I didn't even get to see it. Thank you. Step away. Step away from the bear. Thank you. Mm -mm. It's ghosts out here for real. Yo, what? I seen this before. That's crazy. I don't know what that is. Some type of UFO or whatever. But look how the light's just circling around it. Like, what kind of light does that? Maybe it's moving so fast. That it looks like it's moving slow, kind of like a helicopter. I don't know. See, this is just creepy, just in general. I'd be scared just walking out there. Creepy videos. Questions about my dog, Cracker. He's half Cocker Spaniel and Australian Shepherd. I rescued him. He's from Japan. Do you want a tree? Yeah? What the? Oh, no. Yo, what's behind him? What's behind him? Y'all see that? Oh, no, 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 no. You never know what's in these cameras. Did y'all see that too? It must just be popping out of nowhere. Is that a leg? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, yo, that just scared me. I ain't gonna lie. What y'all doing if y'all see some creepy eyes in the dark or something? Mm -mm, I'm running. I don't care if I'm at home or not. Emergency broadcast. Congratulations, subject number three, on surviving your fourth. Hmm? Is that a cat right there standing? That cat's definitely spooked out by something. It sees something. But hold on, what is in there? Is that a closet? Look like trash. Something moving now. 
It looks like a hand. Oh, no. There's some paranormal activity stuff going on here. Hey, look, they just standing there. Oh, she waved at it. Your kids ain't scared of nothing. What y'all doing in this situation? Mm-mm. Oh, snap, they blinds fell down. You already know something. That scared me. So they say it's a real alien. Very descendant of humans. You also say you're a different species. So, which one is it? Are you a descendant of humans or not? Mm. Hopefully. Do you understand? Now, how do you speak English? I mean, that makes sense. So Why would he come here and not be able to English, speak to us? Just like that. Because you're if they're so that advanced. Smart. Yo, this is deep. That's deep. I can't even stun y'all. That was crazy. Here's some of the creepiest videos on the internet. Part 14. In 2015, YouTube channel Resonance 2001 uploaded a short video to YouTube. He's in an old abandoned church and soon notices something sinister. A ghostly face can be seen peering Whoa. from around the corner while the church bells start to ring. As he goes to investigate, the face oh, no, disappears that's around creepy. the corner, and as he rounds the corner, there's nothing in sight. I've never that seen so me much chills, dark symbolism during a Super Bowl in my entire life. Rihanna throws on a bright red dress and just throws up the Illuminati sign in front of everyone. I mean, the platform she was on was literally shaped as a triangle as well. They all wear and do the same thing. Sam Smith and The Weeknd with some of the most satanic performances ever. Lizzo with That's a little six on her head. Red. Doja Cat and all these other artists. Do you guys get it yet? And what the Whoa. heck was this? There is absolutely no way she just sniffed her finger after this. I break down the whole thing on YouTube, but let's get into some other things that didn't sit right with me at the super bowl damar hamlin after the whole world prays for you you come out with a blasphemous jacket making jesus christ on the cross looking like a clown or a zombie i mean just read what it says in the front of the jacket i mean even ap called it blasphemous and he's throwing up the sixes with lebron and he's getting new tattoos on his hand mm. i seen travis scott wearing the same thing on a chain and don't you dare call that art Uzi at the Super Bowl doing the same thing. All of them just making fun of Jesus. Riri, you ain't off the hook either. Pulling up in an upside down cross saying control mine. And don't even get me started with the commercials. This was the worst part of it all. Disturbing things caught on security cameras, part three. Crazy. This 2016 footage shows a couple during a vacation in Zimbabwe while going for a late night swim in their pool. 
They can be seen by one of the home security cameras chilling in the pool when practically out of nowhere a crocodile approaches them and eventually leaps Whoa. into the pool. This would obviously cause the couple to a desperately crocodile? attempt to get out of the water. Luckily both of Yo, 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 did my man just leave her? He just got out and let the crocodile chase his girl. That's crazy. Both of them would survive, with the woman only receiving minimal cuts on her shoulder and elbow. These four men wreaked havoc on Australia in the 90s, and you will not believe how they got caught. They're known as the Snowtown Killers. Snowtown and the killers. shorter guy in the middle is John Bunting. He's the man behind this vicious murder spree, and convinced a few of his friends to help him kidnap people with disabilities so they could claim their disability checks from the government. Oh, that's messed up. John loved to torture these people while playing recordings of his previous victims screaming for oh, help. Wow. He would even stare into the eyes of his victims while one of the other men strangled them. He would tell them to stop just before they died, letting them recover briefly before repeating the process over again. Do Eventually, John would just murder them and pack their bodies into plastic barrels which he would store in an abandoned bank. However, he had no sense of smell and the stench of the barrels was so bad that neighbors reported him which led to his eventual capture. John Bunting was then taken to court where he received 11 consecutive life sentences. That's messed up. Terrifying Crazy. coincidences caught on live TV. Hmm. Hello. Oh, but that's true. Ask him he's been married for how long? Oh, over 20 Look at him though, he look mad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look happy, don't look happy. Hey, that made me laugh. <laughs> Now, a former TV show bailiff and current Harris oh, County what? deputy charged with his wife's murder now ordered not to attend her funeral. Oh, no, These are no, the scariest no, no. serial killers from the state, up. part one. Up first is Nanny Doss from Alabama, also known as the Giggling Granny. She married five times and murdered four of her husbands. And the only one that She's survived like a was her first husband. Lady or something. A lunch she lady. also poisoned 11 of her family members. Her first two victims were her children, who allegedly died from food poisoning. She got the nickname the Giggling Granny because she would always laugh at the crime she committed. Psycho. She killed 11 people and is definitely the scariest serial killer from Alabama. Mm -hmm. Disturbing things caught on security cameras, part four. This 2018 footage shows a woman setting up a security camera after hearing weird sounds outside of her bedroom window. The recording shows a man she had never seen before walking up to her bedroom window and try to look inside. After a few seconds, the man would notice the camera and quickly walk away, but shortly after, he would return and steal the camera. Oh, snap. The woman believes this man that she caught on camera had been looking into her bedroom window for at least three weeks. Three Here's weeks? Some of the strangest diseases that science can't explain. Part 2. One of the rarest diseases in the world and possibly the most deadly is aquagenic urticaria. Also known as the water disease, this disease causes those who come in contact with water to break out in extreme rashes or hives. Dang, this makes people up. allergic to rain, bathing themselves, and even their own sweat and tears. Essentially, people affected with this are allergic to their own bodies since 60% of our bodies are made up of water. This disease has only ever affected about 30 to 50 people, so little is known about it. The most recent case was in 2009 when a 21-year-old woman from the UK was diagnosed with it. She can only get her liquids by drinking Diet Coke and can only be in the shower for 10 seconds a week. Wait a minute, she can only drink Diet Coke? What's that tell you about Diet Coke? There probably ain't no water in that, like, small amount. Teenagers reacting to getting life sentences, part three. On the evening of the 15th of May 2016, 18-year-old oh, Matthew Borges took the life of his 16-year-old classmate oh, wow. for no reason. You will hearken to the sentence the court has awarded against you, the court having duly considered your offense. It is ordered by the court that you be punished by confinement for a term of life, with parole eligibility on the theory of extreme atrocity and cruelty at 30 years, and parole eligibility on the theory of deliberate premeditation Yo, he cold-blooded. Disturbing moments caught on live TV, part one. After the end of an interview, this UK politician was walking away with a distinctly red briefcase that inexplicably became green after passing Whoa. While in the middle of a news piece, one of these Honduran presenters was shocked after his glass suddenly moved on its own. 
During a 2020 broadcast, Pope Francis seemed to vanish in thin air while stepping back inside after blessing the crowd. This is proof that we aren't alone. Some crazy Okay, freaky so stuff. I'm guessing we all know who Cthulhu is. But if you don't, he's a very powerful entity, and you could honestly consider him a god. He's extremely powerful and you never want to see him in the ocean. But what I'm about to show you are videos of Cthulhu in the ocean proving that he is out there. Cthulhu? Yo, what's that? I'd be creeped out, man. You see that? No way. No way, it's something rising out of the water. That's crazy. In 2008, Jamie Fraley disappeared without a trace. She had told a friend that a male friend, whom she did not identify, was taking her to the hospital for the third time in 24 hours. Third time. But she never arrived to the hospital and has not been seen since. Her discarded cell phone was found at a nearby intersection, but it did not yield any useful evidence. Jamie's fiancé's father was revealed to have been a person of interest in her disappearance, but no solid evidence was found. Hmm. In 2015, a prison inmate wrote a letter confessing to her murder, but authorities do not believe it is truthful. Jamie's case remains unsolved and her whereabouts are unknown. Normal looking for- Hold on, ain't that messed up? <clears throat> Someone says, oh yeah, I'm the one that did it, but the cops, they like, no you didn't. They never know. Those with disturbing backstories. All right, at first, this may look like a bunch of friends having fun, right? But these were actually Auschwitz staff laughing at people dying. Next, Ooh. this could be considered a cute photo of Santa, right? But this Santa was actually Bruce MacArthur, who was a serial killer and killed more than 10 people. And finally, this nice camping photo was taken 12 hours before this volcano erupted, killing the man in the picture and 50 mm. other people may everyone involved rest in peace how do you get the videos picture? on the internet that you should never watch there's a YouTube channel by the name Benjamin Bennett that has over 370,000 subscribers and over 300 videos and at first glance this Benjamin guy's account looks pretty normal however for the last eight years Bennett has taken 321 four hour long videos of himself sitting and smiling at a camera. And yes, you've heard that correctly. There are 321 videos of this. Four hours. The hour videos long. are exactly what they sound like. Here's an example of one of his videos. Yeah, his meditation is on another and level. And he does that for four straight hours. However, in his most famous video, a man actually breaks into his home while he's doing this. But Bennett doesn't move a muscle. Yeah, I can't even sit like that for four minutes. Here's the frightening tale of the Bunny Man. In 1970, a couple was parked in a driveway not far from a train overpass in Fairfax County. All of a sudden, a person appeared out of nowhere and was yelling at them about trespassing and even threw a hatchet at their car. They didn't get a good look at the person, all they could tell is that he was dressed in white and colorful clothing and may have had something on his head. The couple later discovered that in 1902, a bus carrying mental patients crashed on the way to Lorton Prison. They were able to recapture all of the inmates on board, except for one, Douglas Griffin. After he escaped, rabbit corpses began appearing in the woods, but that wasn't the worst of it. He dressed in an Easter Bunny costume and oh, interacted no. with the kids in the local town. After finding out where they lived, he would break in and butcher the parents with an axe and kidnap the children. He was eventually killed after being hit by a train on that very bridge while trying to avoid capture. After his death, people started to report seeing a man dressed in an Easter Bunny costume hanging around the bridge's underpass holding an axe. If that wasn't scary enough, anyone who saw him would reportedly be engulfed in a bright light only to be found butchered and hanging from the overpass after the light faded. The bridge is now known as the Bunny Man Bridge and is considered one of the most haunted places in Northern Virginia. Anyone who is brave enough to visit the bridge is told to do so with extreme caution, or they might end up like the victims of the Bunny Man. Yo, <clears throat> with Easter right around the corner, that just like changes everything for me. The Bunny Man, that was crazy, right? World's most bizarre and scariest cults. This is Cult 2. In 1998, Keith Rainier started what he referred to as a empowering workshop. 
which ended up being a cult called Nexium, Nexium. where he amassed over 18,000 followers, mostly women. These women were told that they were joining some sort of sisterhood, which ended up being a sex slave cult. Ooh. A pyramid scheme was developed within the cult that had people at the bottom known as slaves and the top were masters. When women joined the cult, they were asked to give naked pictures of themselves so they could be used as blackmail if they ever tried to disclose the group. Also, when they were going to the master, Keith, they were told that they would be branded and they had to say, Master Keith, please brand me, and he would brand them right above their chest. This psycho was recruiting girls as young as 15 years old. Disturbing things caught at Disney Crazy. parks. During the Carnival of Stars parade at Disneyland Hong Kong, the character Shelley May stops dancing with the other characters in the parade. She starts drooping over like she's going to fall, but no one seems to notice. Hmm. When she finally does fall, a character attendant calls over other attendants and they carry her away from the parade. They just watch her The video fall. is actually very concerning, because none of the character attendants removed the character's mask to see if she was okay. During a Disneyland parade, Disney fans were surprised to see Maleficent's float on fire. At first, it's hard to tell if it's oh, part of the creepy. show or not. The float is in the shape of a large dragon. The top of the dragon's head was completely on fire, but it actually looked really cool and like it could be part of the show. When burning pieces of the float started falling to the ground, the parade watchers realized that the fire was not a part of the show. A park attendant tries to put out the flames using a small fire extinguisher, but it doesn't do anything to minimize the flames. Finally, they get a large fire extinguisher and are able to put out the fire. Disturbing places you up. can't go to, but people went anyway. I bet they did. Snake Island. An Australian news crew went to the Deadly Island to record a documentary on the 25th of March 2019. Although the island is illegal to visit, the news crew had permission. The island was completely ruled by the snakes and they found snakes almost every meter they walked. There are over 3,000 snakes living on the small island. Would you be brave snakes. enough to go there? No. Are you to make you me? Huh? No. Oh. Scariest close calls with death. This terrifying close call was recorded on the 18th of May 2018 and it shows to cyclists entering a dark tunnel. Everything is going fine until they come across their absolute worst nightmare. A train siren is heard from the distance approaching oh, the so the cyclists run for their life. Why would you go in there? By some miracle the cyclists manage to escape the train with seconds to spare. Okay, Here are some of the stupid. scariest things that have been caught on camera, part 6. A family in West Harris County, Texas got an alert from their baby monitor that motion was detected. Expecting to find their baby standing up in his crib, they were not prepared for the scene that greeted them. Hmm. Where the baby? The baby there sleep? 18-year-old Christopher Gomez is seen watching the baby as it slept just moments oh. after entering the home through an unlocked first-story window. I'm he thinking then that's proceeded the parent. to steal a few things from the house and left the same way he came in. He was later caught by police after the anonymous family released the video of him. This just serves as a reminder that this could happen to anyone at any time. You may want to go make sure that all your doors and windows are locked. Warning, this is a story that will contain imagery that some people will find to be distressing. This is the horrifically dark history of the freak show. Freak shows were a performative convention that actually dates all the way back to the Middle Ages, but then they were revamped in the era of circus as traveling sideshows in the early 1800s. Sideshows typically made profit off the marvel of those who had extraordinary abilities or appearances. Whereas freak Whoa. shows specifically were days. exploiting and profiting off those who were born with with physical disabilities or abnormalities as the rest of society would reject them. But there was one act in particular that stood out. Grady Styles. Grady hands. was born with a rare condition known as ectrodactyly, which fused his fingers and toes and left him unable to walk. Mr. Krabs. He recognized his character, which was adapted and made very sexy by Evan Peters in American Horror Story. But the real life story of Grady is so much darker. Because he was unable to walk, he had developed almost unnatural upper body strength, and that mixed with a short temper and a history of alcoholism, he became abusive and dangerous. Oh, in 1978, snap. Grady shot and killed his eldest daughter's fiance on the eve of her wedding, but due to his disability, he was sent to house arrest over prison where his abuse continued. By 1992, his wife had had a- Wait, they call them the lobster family. 
That's crazy. Enough and somehow convinced a 17 year old who was a sideshow performer to conspire to kill Grady. Following his death, they were both caught and sentenced, leaving the story of the great Grady Styles just as grim as when it started. Do not watch this video unless you have a very strong stomach. Oh, this snap. case is true. Oh, this snap. On August the 31st, 2019, Margaret Sumney was unreachable. Her family knew something was wrong. They tried and failed to get hold of her for two days before notifying police to ask them to do a welfare check. When police went to her house in Pennsylvania, what they discovered was horrifying. They found shattered glass all over the floor and blood smeared mm. on the walls. They found the 67-year-old's body in the bath. She'd been beaten to death. The autopsy revealed that she died from blunt force trauma to the head. Police interviewed her son, David, who initially denied having anything to do with her death. However, police searched his phone and found absolutely disgusting images. They uncovered 277 sickening pictures, including selfies of David with her body, his face smeared in her blood, and doing a thumbs up pose. Oh, dude, wow. Police also discovered that David was in possession of his mum's jewellery and several blank checks. He also had a record of previously assaulting his mother twice and attacking his now deceased father once. The same year as his mum's murder, he allegedly waterboarded and strangled his ex-girlfriend in an Atlantic City hotel. Oh, this dude it's crazy. reported though that he just slipped through the cracks in the police databases, allowing him to go on to offend again. He was soon arrested and it was found that when he'd committed the murder of his mother, he'd taken a large amount of Adderall. His defence mm -hmm. argued that he had diminished responsibility due to his substance and alcohol use. Originally, he was facing charges of first-degree murder and abuse of a corpse. However, due to a legal loophole, he entered a guilty plea, so he would only be charged with third-degree murder. Wow. He was sentenced to 20 to 40 years in prison. Terrifyingly, as he's now been in prison since 2019, and due to his good behavior behind bars, he could be released in just 17 years. This video is called Don't Blank do it Room out. Soup. A man depicted with censored eyes is eating a bowl of what we can assume is soup with a long wooden spoon, while two people in blank face costumes comfort him. People theorize that the man and his wife were kidnapped by the two masked men, who later murdered the wife. This the bowl of soup game you can see stuff. the man eating from does not in fact contain soup, but the remains of his wife. Subscribe for more. <laughs> What? Oh, no. Serial Killer's Last Words, Part 1. Ted Bundy was a famous American serial killer who kidnapped and unalived numerous young women during the 1970s and possibly earlier. After more than a decade of denials, he confessed to over 30 unalivings, being committed in over seven states between 1974 and 1978. His last words being, I'd like to give love to my friends and family. Wow. This is why owning chickens sometimes can be deadly. This news is pretty recent and also very tragic. The guy to the right, his name is Jasper. And to the left is a chicken that he owned that had a very, very aggressive tendencies. It's reported that you the chicken ended chicken. up pecking Jasper in the leg. And when they found Jasper, they found him outside of the chicken coop with a trail of blood leading up to his body. The hole was large enough that Jasper ended up losing far too much blood for them to bring him back, which is extremely unfortunate and an extremely oh, bizarre wow. way to pass away. Yo, death by chicken? Ain't that some crazy stuff? But that's some karma though. Everybody always eating chicken. That chicken got him back. What's this? Oh, for real in the background? Look at all these crazy background images. Are you familiar with these super dangerous toys that were released to the public? This is the Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kit. This doll's mechanical jaw wouldn't stop chewing even if a child's finger were in it. Hair was- Yo, Cabbage Patch Kids are a little bit creepy. Like, you know that a lot of people used to believe Cabbage Patch Kids were for real? Like, that's where babies came from, was from a Cabbage Patch? These things are a little bit creepy.
was also another victim of this ever-hungry doll. Mattel banned it in 1997. Atomic Energy Laboratory. Thank goodness we have better scientific understanding since 1951. Kids were allowed to play with real radioactive materials. These kits remained on the shelves for over a year. Poisoning children. Clackers. Wow. Clackers were taken off the market in the United States and Canada when reports came in out of children becoming injured while playing with them. The balls would occasionally shatter upon striking each other and impale and send shrapnel into kids' faces. Mm. Subscribe. Facts that can save up. your life. Part 8. If you're ever being chased by a polar bear, get completely naked and drop your clothes on the ground as you run away. Polar bears have really bad ADD, and they'll firmly inspect your clothes before continuing to chase you. Wolves will only attack you if they feel like they can intimidate you into running away from them. Standing your ground against a pack of wolves is terrifying, but eventually they will leave you alone. If you ever have to escape a moving car, don't jump out. Put one foot down and then take a step. This will significantly reduce the speed and will have a much greater chance of surviving the fall. Ain't nobody thinking about this. real pasó en el cementerio de la nuz. Walking dead. Oh, there's zombies out here? There's zombies out here, y'all. No creo que sea. No, mira. Hey, what's the camera? Oh, the cameraman ain't doing a good job. No, get it with Oh, snap. I see chills on my spine. There's zombies out here. The dark story behind wow. Hello, Kitty. Hello Kitty is a very famous Japanese cartoon character So you may probably notice that Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth mm. Some of you may ask Why doesn't she have a mouth? Let me explain a good question. It all started when a daughter had a mouth cancer And the terrible things that the doctors weren't able to save her she went to various of churches, but it didn't help. So she decided to make a deal with a demon. So the deal was to make a cartoon character demon. called Hello Kitty for an order to help her daughter live. Soon, the character was made and it blew up tremendously among children. Children or kids who has an Hello Kitty doll. This grown woman that's still like that. Didn't knew that they were playing with a demon. Childhood actors who became murderers. Meet Ryan Grantham. Ryan Grantham starred in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie and Riverdale. But on March 31st of 2020, his life took a dark turn. He unalived his mother while she was playing the piano and was sentenced to life in prison. His reason behind doing this was because he wanted to spare her. Spare her from seeing the violence that he was going to commit later on. Mm. This guy didn't eat a single calorie for over a year straight. From June of 1965 up until July of 1966, wow. Angus Barbary did not eat a single ounce of food. Wow. This prompted massive weight gain and he ended up losing close to 300 pounds over the course of this year-long fast. Up here you can see the difference from when he started versus when he finished how is that just possible? a year later. When he finally decided to break his fast in July of the following year, he broke it with a slice of bread as well as a boiled egg. To this, he told reporters that he was thoroughly satisfied and felt very full. I'm not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't even last a full day without you. If you ever wear a hat, don't do what she did. Claire always wore a hat. She wore it everywhere no matter where she went. One day Claire went to a pool party. Her friends told her to take off her hat but she refused. Claire dived in the pool but everyone stared in shock. Claire's hat had soaked up all the water. Claire couldn't get it off her head no matter how hard she tried. The hat had soaked up so much water that Claire's head exploded. Everyone the... screamed in horror as mushy brain splattered everywhere. Oh, what? whoa, whoa. Whoa, this person got six fingers. They are not human. Never play this game with your friends. Once there was a group of girls who heard about the game Baby Blue. They didn't believe in it, but thought they could scare their friend Laura. So they sent Laura into a bathroom by herself. She turned off the lights, closed the door, and put her arms out as if to hold a baby. Then started chanting Baby Blue, Baby Blue 13 times. What happened next cannot be explained. 
Laura felt a heavy weight in her arms. Then she felt the weight in her arms scratching her. She was terrified and didn't know what to do. She wanted to drop it, but she was afraid of what might happen if she did. So she froze, and the weight grew heavier and heavier. Suddenly, she saw a woman in the bathroom mirror with a twisted look on her face. She screamed in terror. When her friends heard her scream, they tried to open the door, but it was locked. When they finally opened the door, they found Laura on the floor. Her eyes had been scratched out. They tried to move her body, but they couldn't, because something large and invisible was pinning her to the ground. Historical facts you never knew, part four. Behind me is Winston Churchill, very famously known for a variety of things, along with smoking cigars every single day and drinking copious amounts of alcohol every single day. In fact, Winston Churchill loved alcohol so much that when he traveled to the United States during the Prohibition era, he had them write up this special note allowing him and only him to drink alcohol. Alcohol was illegal during this time, so this was a pretty big deal. I'm gonna get out of the frame and let you guys read this. I can't even see that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what it says. Pretty interesting. I don't know if I could have a glass of alcohol with every single meal that I ate during the day, though. I went to Reddit to find Me the most either. unexplained supernatural or paranormal events that people had ever gone through. And this is what I found. I was annoyed with my daughter because she hadn't cleaned up her room in weeks, so when I walked by her room and saw her standing there, I assumed she was doing what I said. A few minutes later, she walked out of the shower in the bathroom with a towel wrapped around her and asked why I was looking at her strangely. When I asked her who was in her room, she looked scared too. I never figured out who was in there, but we didn't clean up the room either. Six out of ten. Was spending the night at a friend's house as a kid around 12 or 13. The parents weren't home, so we decided to go out, do some ding-dong ditching, get into some young angsty debauchery. <laughs> debauchery. We get home and it's around 1 or 2 in the morning. Cue a ringing of the doorbell. Naturally, we think it's the cops or some pissed off neighbor. My friend had a small window that looked out onto the front porch and you couldn't really see into it from outside. So we took a peek at who was calling at such a late hour. Standing at the door was an old woman in a dress and a young boy in a weird newsy outfit. Both were dressed extremely out of period as it was the 90s mm. and my friend had never seen them either in the neighborhood before. We ducked because we're a bit freaked to look again less than 10 seconds later and they're both gone. Nobody on the street walking away. Away, no cars driving away they were just gone without a trace we did not sleep well that's a that's a good one that was a good one 7.8 out of 10 huh, that one was kind of freaky and they were all kind of freaky but it makes sense because if she ever asks you this one what? question always say no mm. a hospital receptionist was working late one night when he saw a strange figure approach him in the darkness when they came closer it appeared to be a pale woman with a uh. wide smile and soaking black hair the receptionist asked the woman if she was there to That's see her? someone. She simply nodded and said, Do you reject the Trinity? He replied, I'm sorry? She then slowly backed away and left. A few hours passed, and a little girl came to his desk from her hospital room. He asked her if she was feeling alright, and she said that she did not like the new nurse. He said, Sweetie, what do you mean? And she told him that the nurse was asking all the children the same question, and they were all chanting yes, yes but she was too afraid to answer. The man then sprinted to the hallway where the children were staying, and none of them were to be found. The hospital then went into lockdown, and the only remains of the children were their clothes laying on their- Disturbing moments caught at McDonald's. Oh, this woman, creepy. fed up with waiting for her food at a McDonald's, begins trashing the store and throwing things at the staff behind the counter. She starts by simply looking fed up before the clip cuts, and she comes in from off camera. Mm. She throws a bucket, containers, wet floor signs, and more. All we can see are other guests trying to get away from her and the employees trying to scramble out of the line of fire. Terrifying yeah, signs that you won't believe actually exist. Part 5. If you can read this, you are standing inside a minefield. Falling rock. Caution, this vehicle may wreck or explode at any time. Beware of acid drip from above. Mm. Warning, fish contaminated with mercury. Do not eat. Beware of falling snakes. You're probably not expecting to drown today. Mm -mm. Warning, signs or lights mean get out of the river now. Water will rise rapidly. Here are some of the creepiest moments ever captured on live TV. Part 1. In the 1980s, there was a Canadian TV show entitled Just Like Mom, hosted mm. by a man named Fergie Oliver. The majority of the contestants featured on the show were young girls typically under the age of 13, and the hosts would always- Oh, this is already getting creepy. Oh, you might assume that these were innocent little kisses on the cheek, 
But this is something entirely different, and the footage is quite disturbing. Look at me a little closer. They're green. Can I have a little kiss, please? Oh. That's hey, creepy. Allison, you're gonna win the show, boy. You <laughs> creepy. Funky Oliver went on to host 595 episodes of Just Like Mom and star in countless other shows as well. Mm. The footage is one of the creepiest things that I've ever seen, and definitely the most disturbing thing that I can post on TikTok. Some of the world's most bizarre and scariest cults. This is Cult 3. In 1974, Heaven's Gate was founded as a religious cult by Bonnie Nettles and Marshall Applewhite. Through the 1970s, they recruited hundreds and hundreds of people until 1976 when they actually created a monastic lifestyle. The cult developed a religion known as ufology, which believed that if all their followers rejected their human bodies and gave it up, they would ascend to the next level through an extraterrestrial being. In 1997, in San Diego, the sheriff's office discovered in Applewhite's house 39 people who had ascended to the next level of their own being. As they took their own life, the website read, the 22 years of classroom has come to an end and it is time to ascend to the next level of creativity and disturbing That's movies crazy. you've never heard are wild. Imagine you got a new babysitting job, but when you walked in the door, you realized it wasn't what it seemed. A woman named Greta Evans gets hired for a babysitting job and she has to move to the UK. Upon her arrival, she notices a massive mansion and tries to be polite and take off her shoes before entering. She meets Mr. and Mrs. Heelshire, who are the boy's parents. Mrs. Heelshire asks where Greta's shoes are, but when Greta goes to where she took them off, they are gone. Mrs. Oh, Heelshire no. says, don't worry, my son probably took them. Greta then asks to meet the son and the parents take her to him. Greta is surprised that the son is a porcelain doll and thinks the parents are joking at first. Oh. They tell her that they are serious and while they are out of town to follow this list of rules. Greta agrees but thinks the family is crazy and immediately doesn't do as asked. She wakes up to hearing strange noises coming from inside the house and starts investigating. If you want to watch this movie for yourself, go to downloader.world and download the yeah, that movie type 777 in the search bar and enjoy. She then starts realizing the doll is real and begins treating him like a normal boy. A delivery driver comes to drop off the food and begins telling Greta the real story of the boy. Apparently the boy was an eight-year-old psychopath and had a friend named Emily who went to play at the mansion but never mm. returned. The next day, Greta's abusive ex-boyfriend confronts her and tries to get her to come home with him. She begins fighting him off and tells him that she can't leave the doll. The abusive boyfriend becomes angry and breaks the doll in pieces. Oh. The house begins shaking and the mirror shatters. A man in the same type of mask walks out of the mirror. This man in the mask turns out to be the real eight-year-old boy who is now grown. Oh, the truth no. is, when the eight-year-old boy was little, he murdered his friend Emily and his family faked his death in order to protect him. Make sure to like and follow for more videos. Oh, no, Noah's that was crazy. Has actually been found. Even though a massive flood had proven to engulf Earth at one time, skeptics believe that Noah's Ark never happened. Due to the fact that it was impossible for an Ark of that size to disappear without a trace, However, in recent times, archaeologists have found a giant boat shape on Mount Ariat, measuring 515 feet, which translates to 300 cubits long. You might be thinking that those measurements have no meaning at all, but it says in the Bible that God told Noah to build an ark that was 300 cubits long. So is this just a big coincidence or do you think Noah's ark has actually been found? Abandoned places then know. versus now. What y'all think? Pablo Escobar's mansion then. Now. Dang, I'll run down. When Pablo Escobar was captured and killed, his mansion was left abandoned for nearly 10 years. The estate was discovered by art collector Leo Malka, who decided to purchase the property and turn it into an artistic hotel. Controversial cartoon episodes that were banned. In this 1933 episode of Betty Boop, Betty is visiting a small village in the mountains when suddenly, all the villagers start to pack up their things and flee their homes terrified. Confused, Betty asks a passing owl who explains that the old man of the mountain is threatening the livelihood of the villagers, particularly the women. Despite the owl's warnings, Betty is curious and decides to trek up the mountainside to find out who is the old man. Are you going, Betty? Once Betty gets to the top of the mountain, the old man of the mountain emerges from behind a rock, there showing us a very controversial scene that led to the episode being banned. Look at that.
This is the scariest thing You're that ever happened Betty. to America. Okay, we all know that America had a lot of scary things happen to it. But what I'm about to tell you has to be the scariest thing ever. On August 29th, 1968, every single TV in America shut down. Hmm. And a demonic whispering was coming from every single TV in America. Many people believed it was the devil trying to get across some sort of message. But nobody really understood it. This lasted for about 25 oh, seconds, creepy. and then all the TVs came back on. To this day, nobody knows what caused that's it or creepy. why it happened, but every single person believed it was the works of the devil. These are the most disturbing things ever witnessed inside of a school. Warning, the longer you watch this video, the worse it's gonna get. The first one reads, two girls uh -oh. get into a fight in the cafeteria, shit goes down, hair pulling, kicking, slapping, all of a sudden someone yells for an ambulance. Turns out during the fight, one of the girls went into labor. I have no idea Whoa. what I would do if I saw this. The second one reads, kids piss in a bucket, climb on the roof of the school, and pours it all over the freshman class. Ugh. Back when I was in high school, if I would have been a freshman and somebody would have done this, I would have instantly started fighting. Facts. And this is the worst one of all that I found. The last one reads, in fifth grade we were having recess and one of my classmates was on a ladder beside a power line and then it started lightning out of nowhere. It then struck the power line which caused it to explode and my classmate went flying. Thankfully he survived but his nickname was Sparky for the rest of the year. Thank God the kid's okay but I mean you got a pretty cool nickname now. Make sure to like and follow for more videos. Okay Sparky, now that's crazy yo. These TikToks are wild. They're super creepy. A couple of them are a little bit disturbing, not gonna lie. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.